Well, I'm just Jake here with another Blastered review from Hallius Toys. This is another one sold under the, the Minfex brand on Amazon. This one is the polar opposite of the MK14 that I just recorded the review for. Whereas it was the most expensive, this is the lowest priced. Coming in at a just under $30 price tag of $29.99, it comes with a different body kit, if you want to say that. And that's pretty much the same core blaster. Just instead of the teal, this is a, a bright, cheerful yellow. Now, the accessories definitely make this one be more styled as, an, like, say, an MP5. And that, that's where the change is. You know, you've got one is that full featured with all of the accessories, and this is a more streamlined design. Now, just like the MK14, the accessories on this one are quite solid. I mean, the quality is top-notch, I'm, and I'm not exaggerating that. The included muzzle, sight, sock are of worker level of quality, as is the mag. And the mag itself is a different one. Instead of being that like smoke color black, this is a solid black with a interchangeable plate. You can use the pole style, or they do include a smooth plate you can put on if you prefer not to have that. This is a 12 rounder instead of a 10, and you still get 100 darts. It's still running off the same 3.7 volt battery that I showed in the first review. It's a rechargeable, comes with a USB charger cable, and it's that is kind of the limiting factor to the top end performance. Same uh, selector switch, you have off, single round, free round, and full auto. Also, the same ergonomic mag release that you can either flip forward and and release or like I became accustomed you can easily as you grab the mag hit it and pull either way it works and it is of course fully ambidextrous and the ergonomics is the same core blaster the grip is very nice it's on par with anything on the market if not a little better it's got a pretty smooth profile to it so with a little bit of a hook at the bottom that easily fits my hand which is you know XL to double XL size when I wear gloves so it fits <laughs> and it's comfy and again the same quality the, I went on about that in the first review nothing has changed and it's also got about the exact same performance I averaged 71.2 with the MK14 and I averaged dead on 71 with the MP style blaster now firing demonstration in single fire I, again that's how I tested it for chronograph with my 71 feet per second three round burst so one click forward and then pushing the selector switch all the way forward for full auto and this one has been a little more consistent because mainly again you had that long barrel attachment on the MK14, whereas you have the flywheel cage, you can see right here the external bump for the shell to make room for it. So right here is your flywheels. You have a lot less barrel. So a lot less barrel drag, which I would have thought would have you know, bumped the average FPS up. It didn't. But what it did do is, what I commented on was sometimes darts would hang up in the barrel of the MK14. They did not in this. They once once in a great while because again it is a slim line inner diameter, but it's a much shorter one. So once in a while you have a, a dart hang up, and then it would get pushed out with the next one, and it only happened in the full auto mode. And then once in a while in the three round burst you'd get one of the three would do it. Never had that issue with a single shot. Can't explain it. Same flywheels, other than maybe it's bogging down just enough, like that 3.7 volts, not quite enough. As you heard, rate of fire is not very high. But I didn't have the issue as much with this, mainly because shorter barrel. But again, this is a $29.99 package with the same core blaster. Different style attachments and a different mag. Still came with 100 darts. Came with that 3.7 volt USB rechargeable battery and the same 71 feet per second performance. 
this one, again, I can recommend these blasters based on the fact that you might like the looks, you might like the styling, and maybe you like the, the selectable fire and the simple, basic, rechargeable battery. I mean, it's give and take. You'd have to completely rewire the whole thing if you're trying to mod it for performance, but somebody who's not modding, they just slap the rechargeable battery in, get basically on par nerf performance. No double A's ever having to be bought. It's a you determine if this is targeted at you kind of blaster. I can only review it for what it is, and it's quality, it's on par with nerf, it's as cheap or cheaper than nerf, and it comes with a lot more. Sounds like a win if that's the target audience and you're that person. Backyard Blaster? Yeah, it's it's perfect for that. And at $30, this is this is definitely a solid choice compared to what else is out there. So, decide whether it's something for you or not. The link will be in the description below. Let me know what you think about it. Till next time, this is Mongoose Jake saying thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.